Hey kiddos! Well, today we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul and I'm going to show you all the stuff that I've got for my upcoming videos that I'll be using. Um, I had a haul video for a couple of weeks ago, so some of this stuff you probably have already seen, but if not, or if you have, just ignore it. Go on. Um, so I'm going to get started with um, just a few things that I have picked up at Walmart that uh, I need to show you that I will be using in a video on Tuesday, next Tuesday, April the 20th, um, with a group of girls that I absolutely adore. Um, they're just the sweetest things ever. Um, so I want you to make sure and follow along in my uh, community page. Um, I will have it, all the um, collabs that I have coming up, and that's my first one that I have coming up, but I'm also going to put out a video on Friday. I think this one's going to go out on Wednesday, so some of the stuff that you see today I'll be using on Friday, and then some of it I'll be using on next Tuesday, so I hope you can um, check us out. So, all right, so the very first thing I'm going to start with is um, Dollar General, and I only had a couple of things from Dollar General Um that I wanted to show you from last time, which I have, I've had these a couple of weeks, so I apologize. Um, my daughter just had prom and, um, I'll have to, uh, put a picture in the community page so everybody can comment about how beautiful was she looked because, you know, she's my baby and don't say anything bad about her. Or I'll have to delete you off my channel. Just kidding. Anyway, um, I won't like you though, if you do, but <laughs> You know how our kids are. So, all right. So, I have been really busy with um, getting prom stuff ready for prom, and we had company, and it's just been it's been a little crazy around here. So, I know you can see my lighting table and all that in the background. I hope that doesn't bother you. If it does, leave me a comment. And let me know about that because um, I need. I keep saying I'm going to find me a decorated filming area, but. As of yet, I have yet to do it. So how important is that? That I have a um, a decorated background that is not my workspace. Because that is where I film all the videos. And then all my product is over here. So all my painting stuff. And then my flowers are over here. And my ribbon is over there. I know some of you have seen my um, redo of my uh craft room. So is it important to you that the backspace be uncluttered? Because I would like to know that. Me, it doesn't matter to me when um, people are doing a haul video. I don't actually care. I just want to see what they bought. But other people, it's distracting maybe. So leave me a comment. Let me know. Okay, so the very first things that I got was I got this B flag and I'm into the bees right now. I don't know. Everybody's got the bees. So it's like all of a sudden I want to do bee stuff. So be watching for that. Get it? Fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm smart. And then I got this cute little gnome. And, you know, red is my color. Um, so, on my front porch, he's going to go out there and sit. I'm getting ready to um, clean it up and put a few new things out there and plant some flowers. And when I do, I'll probably take you guys along. So, all right. So, those things came from Dollar Tree. I want to show you my Walmart um, thing I got next. This thing, I was really shocked. Walmart has really stepped their game up, and I'm like, whoa, all righty then. So, I got this, and I don't know if you can you see. It's got, um, let me see if I can untape it from the back. It's got these grooves in it. 547 or 347. I think it's 547. That seems more right to me um, for this. And, and you can see what they do with it. You know, it's just super simple. You cut your vinyl out. Um, on the pictures, well, it's showing it up and down. I personally would take this string off, turn it sideways, and then do it. Because then it looks it has the shiplap look. Otherwise, it looks like paneling. This is shiplap. I don't know what the difference is. But it, to me, it would matter. So, um, and plus when you're putting vinyl on here or a stencil, not to have to cut across that line would be wonderful. So, um, but those are the kind of ideas that it had on there. I, um, I'm sure I'll just do something like that. I love that thing. I've been wanting one of those big rounds from, um, Home Depot, but first of all, they're, I think like seven and $10 and they are heavy there. And when they, you know, all that heavy on your door is not good. I don't know if I'm sure your husband's yell at me like mine does my, me quit hanging stuff on the door. You know, because, you know, you hang it on the door handle, then you put the hooks over the door. And what it does is eventually causes the door hinges to pull down. He gets kind of 
fussy about it. I don't know, want, not wanting to replace the door. All right, so then I got this thing. And it was about, I think, it was in the same thing. So it was about another five bucks for it. Now the hanger is in the middle on this side. So it ha it wants you to hang it that way. I, again, I like shiplap. I don't know what they're doing there. That's the part they're screwing up on. But that could be taken off. It's got a screw in the back and could be placed on this top. And then you could use it like a shiplap. So those were the things from Walmart. Also, I want to say, go get you some of that boxwood fern because i'm telling you you're going to want that at christmas time now i just bought a whole ten dollar bag i'm not going to show that to you again you've seen it a hundred times so we're going to start with well the rest of it is dollar tree so i'm going to show you the things that i got for me personally um, because i have been having trouble finding hair clips i don't know if anybody else is having trouble finding hair clips but i go through hair clips like crazy because you see me with my hair down, but it's never down unless I'm going somewhere or doing a video. So, or the intro to a video. When I'm doing the video over there, it's up. It's out of my face. So, these things, you know, my mom was a hairdresser, so we had these all the time. And these are the um, a little bit cheaper than, you know, what you get from the beauty supply store. But I couldn't even find those. So, I got me those. And these are a little bit heavier than what they have been carrying. Some of those, I couldn't even get them in my hair before they broke. So the last two, well, since Corona, COVID, whatever we're calling that, and I couldn't find any hair clips. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, well, Dollar Tree will come out with some more. I'm not paying three dollars for them for Wal from Walmart when I can get three of them for three for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Yes, I'm very, as Sammy said today. I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. I'm cheap. Who cares? Anyway. <laughs> all right. So as y'all know, Addie is graduating. Um, and so we're going to have a little family graduation party. And so I wanted to decorate it. And so I got all these. They have two different looks. They have the black and white. They have the black and gold. And then they have um, the bright. So I got this one. But it has all these different things in it. So you graduating moms, you know what you're doing. Um, let's see. This one was streamers to hang from the ceiling. A streamers to hang from the ceiling. This one's a banner, which I used to scrapbook. So it's kind of sacrilegious for me to um, buy a banner and not make one. So it's kind of, but I don't know that I'm going to have time. Because with videos and everything else, it's like, you can get this one and I'll doctor it up. So I probably will add some tool to it and maybe some um, ribbon, you know, stuff like that to, to dress it up. Maybe her name underneath it, you know. I got some bags because who ain't going to have 1,400 kids around? If you got one graduating, you're going to need gift bags or gift cards. These are like, they sit on the table and they fan out, you know, they, they make the little honeycomb thing. Honeycomb, I remember that. Anyway, so I got me some of those to sit on the table. Or I guess I got them for her. And then I got these great big ones. And I thought these would be super cute to hang on the garage doors. Um, just to brighten it up. You know, so. I thought that'd be cute. Now then, what else have I got? Okay, so my next thing is, is I started, um, you know, I, you know I love decoupage. So... I have been looking since before Easter for all these napkins. Well, I could never find any spring or Easter or anything. Well, so now I've found some of these. These are the basket liners, like for if you're doing french fries or something and you want to make a, I don't know if anybody, diner baskets is what they're for. I think these are called wax, waxed basket liners. But I'm pretty sure that these will decoupage pretty good on whatever I put them on. So... For summer, 4th of July, you're going to see a bunch of this. So, then there's these two, and then they had these. Now, I was like, well, because sometimes you buy um, these napkins at Dollar Tree, and they're only one-sided. And so, that's what I was looking for this. I was like, is that one-sided, or is it going to be just two sides, you know? So, I think I'll have to open them up, too. But these, I think, are going to be four-sided. And that means it makes a whole lime, which I thought was super cute, which I'll probably just pretend that it's a lemon. You know how I am. So, well, I can show you like this. 
So see, it's like this and this, and so you're going to tear it apart, and then you got you a whole lemon. That's going to be adorable. I can't wait to use that. All right, so I'll open these up too for you in a minute. Um, I got a thermometer because I want to know I'm getting old, so I need to know the temperature of outside. Anyway, I saw it and I thought, well, that'd make a cute sign. So I'm going to do something with a sign um, and do that on there. Now then, Indiana Jones, I'll link her below too. Um, so I've got Sandy on here and Indiana Jones. And there's one other and I'm going to mention here in a minute. Uh, the Distressed Princess. Um, who was the other one? Oh, and Christy Creates. So all of these, some of these things are dupes that I'm doing from their channels. Um, on Try It Tuesday, and so I wanted you to know ahead of time so that you could maybe follow along, but this little thing right here, you're going to need that. You're going to need a hula hoop, which I didn't get yet, and you're going to need the the small hula hoop, not the big one, or you could make it the big one if you got these things right here. Now, what in the world are you skewering on this thing this big? I mean, like, that's some that's a lot of meat. And I think that thing would break if you put all that stuff on it. And then, who's got a grill this long? I don't know. Maybe it's for marshmallows. It just says bamboo skewers. But I'm, you know, it's, I'm like, where are y'all at? Are you using, I mean, this is almost three foot long. Who's <laughs> using that? I don't know. I want to see what you're cooking on those. So send me some pictures. I need to know. These are the things I need to know. Go to my Instagram account and tag the redheaded scrapper. I want to know what you're cooking on them. I need pictures. Okay. So I thought that was funny. I got me a bunch of these because if you buy one of those dowel sticks, dowel, 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 dowel or dowel, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Them little wooden sticks. If you buy one of those, it's a buck. And so I was like, well, that's the greatest thing ever since sliced bread. So I'll be all right. I'm going to get me a bunch of them. So I got me like five packages of those. So if y'all can't find them, that's why I took them. Just joking. I left three. Um, so you'll need, so you'll need dowel rods. This thing, which is a little craft caddy. You need this part of it. And you will need a hula hoop and flowers. And if you go over to Indiani's channel, Indiani Jones is her channel. You'll see it linked below. I love doing that. You know I love doing that. Linked below. Then you'll see what I'm talking about, um, what she just made. And it's just been this last weekend. I'm just like flabbergasted by it. I mean, like, I'm just like, oh my God, that's so cute. Okay. So you need to go over and look at that. Now then, let's see. I got me a butterfly because I am doing like a, I think it's called, I can't even think what the name of my challenge is. That's terrible that we're doing this week. Poo. I have to tell you in a minute. Okay, I'll come back. I'm going to cut right there so I know to come back. All right, I had to go look. So it's spring always follows the rain. So it's Jamie over at... Simple roots, simple living. <laughs> I have 50-year-old brain today. I do not know what's wrong with me. I can't remember anything. I'm losing it. I'm losing my marbles. Anyway, okay. So, simply roots, simply living, simple living. And that's Jamie's channel. And she is the hostess for our flowers always follow the rain. I said that wrong anyways that's the one we're doing and y'all link it below too anyways so this butterfly is going to be in there i'm going to do that on something i don't know what yet i i just like that butterfly it's got like a gauzy thing and i don't know you can't i don't think you can hang it outside in the weather but now if it's under your porch you'd be fine but like don't hang it where something's going to just pour rain on it so um every year i love coastal stuff i think that's from living down in new orleans for you know eight nine years so i love coastal those people love coastal too they do lots and lots of coastal stuff in their house they decorate in summer for it and i just love it so i always get this it's that fishnet and I have done tons of stuff with this, especially for Louisiana, the swamp kind of theme. I I did this the cutest thing one time with 
with this and um, moss and um, burlap. It turned out super cute. So, y'all need some of this to do your nautical stuff with. I just love it. I, you'll see me use it a lot. I think I have some more somewhere else besides that one, but I couldn't find it the other day. Now, my aunt... Deb mentioned the other day she can't really get out and do her flowers like she used to. So she said she was just going to do um, solar flowers. And I thought, well, what is she talking about? And then I went to Dollar Tree and found these. So I was like, ah, I got to do some kind of plant thing with that out there. But um, I think I'm getting really like old lady-ish and I like anything bright, colorful. I think it's like you just don't care if you get so old. You know, I'm a sugar, so, which is, translates to a grandma, and I, I love shiny, twirly stuff. I don't care anymore. I'm like, I'm 50 years old. I do what I want. I think I turned 50 and just got an attitude. I don't know. Well, I probably had that attitude before, but anyway. All right, so I got me some of these. Hmm. Wonder what she's going to do with these. These are stinking cute. So I got me like, three sets of them, but I probably won't use them. Who knows? We'll see. I thought they were cute. This one will definitely be used either Friday or Tuesday. I love him. I love turtles. I love frogs. I love to play with them. I love live frogs and turtles. Not a steak lover per se. Matter of fact, don't like them at all. Now then, everybody had been getting these and I thought, where are they getting these from? I finally found them, <laughs> but I only got two. Don't ask why we got two. They had boxes and boxes of them. But I picked up two because I didn't know what I was going to do with them. And I like them, but I just don't know what I'm going to do with them. So, we'll see what I do with them. I got some of these because I like to do little cards. Um, uh, and also, I thought it would be cute. These little lemon slices goes with my little lime napkins. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. But I got them. I got these to try to make a sign with we'll see how that goes and um, you know that kind of how that easter thing went with all the eggs and i only made one of them Shh, don't tell my husband i'm packing that stuff up right now because i'm like what are you gonna use an egg shape for and i keep trying to like make flowers out of them <laughs> stuff. i'm not having any luck so don't tell him mm -mm, don't tell him i'll use them next year mm -hmm. yeah i will all right so i got me five of these to make me a little something out of. We'll see. I needed some more of these because I've been using them like crazy. Oh, I got two of them. I thought I only got one. Well, got two. There you go. I guess they were stuck together. Didn't even know it. Got me some more burlap ribbon. Burlap wired ribbon. Love that stuff. Um, Some of these hula, hoop, hula hoops. Hula skirts. That's what I'm looking for. Hula skirts. I got me some of these. Not for the hula skirt, but for the raffia. Um, because I can't find raffia. I don't know, like they discontinued it. I don't know if I'm not looking in the right spot when I go. I know Dollar Tree doesn't have any more, but I thought maybe I could find some the other day at um, Hobby Lobby, and I didn't find any there either, which was kind of crazy. And my bangs are sprayed so stiff. I don't know what I did to them, but anyway, I also have a collab coming up in May 18th. It's a 4th of July collab, and it's going to um, be a, a um, fundraiser, I think, for Fisher House for the veterans. So, I got these ribbons, and when I get that list, I'll, I'll link it in my community page. I don't think they have the list out yet, so it's not until May, so we got some time to do it. But that's one of the collabs I will be doing. Um, but I do want to spread that um, so that, you know, we can all, but I just thought those were cute. And they have like, it's like gold. No, it's okay. The red is gold. The blue and the white is silver. That's different. I didn't notice that. So, 4th of July or Memorial Day or Labor Day. So, that'll be great. Now, y'all saw me use this last week and it turned out so cute. I thought, well, what else can I do with it? So, I bought me another one. And, oh, I forgot something else from Dollar Tree, or Dollar General. Oops, oops, oops. So, I don't know if I've showed you this, but this one was in their dollar, whatever, but it's lemons. Squeeze the day. I thought that was cute. So, I'm going to use those for decoupage, you know, again. Um, and I got these, which were a dollar. And I think you've probably seen these. Um, I like the sayings, but I just don't like them on 
the pig or on the cow. So I'll probably use them for something else. Well, I get me a pile over here, let me tell you. I got me one of these, and I don't know why. I just, I wanna make something with it. I like the shape of it. So, weird, huh? And I bought these, and they are Christmassy, but I bought them anyway because I was like, well, if I don't get them now, you know how Dollar Tree is, they don't come, in, don't come around again sometimes. I also bought me some tissue paper, which I finally found some of that and some of this. And I thought those turned out, would be turned out cute. I'm all into the decoupage stuff. Now the new jars that I found at Dollar Tree, I'm trying to hurry, I better hurry up. I've already been on here like 20 minutes, are these. And so you pull this off and you think, ah, oh, the rubber stuck on there. Nope, the rubber is on the jar instead of on here. So you could paint, but you'd have to be careful about the, thing which I guess you just wouldn't paint that part but I love that it had the little can you see the little thing the little label there so I got me some of those and then these are going to be absolutely adorable so little milk cans perfect for your tear Terry project so they had this one with the cows that says farm sweet farm and this one that says our farm our house little rooster and then this one says home is where our family gathers and it's pink now they have a blue one the light blue like the pink too but I didn't really care about the color because I just wanted the shape so loved that I got me six of these for a project I'm getting ready to do secret secret <laughs> and I found some more of these so I loved it I love the shape of it so, I got me some of these to make a project out of. And, I don't know, I just, I got this thinking I could paint it. Because, of course, I don't like the yellow. But there was 40 foot on here. So, you know, when you buy that rope, the other rope, it's only six, six or nine foot long. And this is four times bigger. See, I did math on, on camera. Woohoo! Y'all's going to be clapping for me. Anyway, um, so I got me two of them. Stop laughing. It's, it's not funny. I can't do math. On, I can't do it when y'all are looking at me. So, um, that's because I had a tin key. If you gave me a tin key, I could figure it out for myself. All right. I found these. Okay. I told you I'm having a bee obsession, right? Okay. So, I really don't have a place in my house to put these. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I love them. And so, I'm making this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I found me these. So they fit together. I got seven of them. And they fit together. And they are going to make the prettiest wall hanging. So I think I might use them by my coffee bar. Change the inside. You know, that kind of thing. Maybe just something neutral. Because there is seven of them. So make it not have a saying in it. I'm not big on sayings. Um... I'm just going to be honest. A lot of people love sayings in their house. I like one or two, but when your whole house has words all over it, it it's distracting to me. So I don't like that. Um, I like, you know, but I like a little bit of it, but I don't need, you know, words everywhere. I, I don't know. I just, I'm weird like that. So I do have a few things and because of YouTube, I've gotten more things that I normally have. Now I have to say in my husband's den, let me, excuse me, man cave before I get, you know, divorced. In his man cave, he has tons of signs. And so that may be why I don't like it everywhere else because that whole room is just signage. So just like if you'd went to um, TJ, uh, TGIF Fridays, isn't that one of them that had it like that? Lambert's, if you've ever been to Lambert's, it's, it's decorated like that. That's his thing. He loves it. I love it but it gets old for the whole house. So um, that's why we've never had a room like that until we moved where he could have his own man cave and have all of his stuff in one room. So he likes that. All right, so these things were new to me, which they may not be new to y'all, but they're like little sign boards that you can put letters in. And then there's like foam. This is foam, this black part, it's foam. And you can um, put the little letters in the foam. So I don't know if you can see it up close. But anyway, it's super cute, but the back is not, there's not a stable back on it. So when you do this, like you can, you can part the, the foam. See, I don't like that. That's, that's going to fall apart. 
Again, it's a dollar, Angie, so calm down. But I think that I would probably put a backing on this. And I got three of them so that I could make one great big message board. Um, I, what I thought these would be great for is a menu board, which, I mean, you might not have enough letters, but a menu board for your kitchen for, you know, if you wanted to put your menu up. I thought that would be cute. So, or even just, you know, um, I don't know, but I just thought they were cute. So I'm going to play with them a little bit and see what I can find, what I can do. I also bought me one of these. Now, if you're a scrapbooker, like I am, these things I've been looking for because you use it to dip in the ink and then you go around your edges with it. And um, it's like using a sponge dauber. So I know every, I'm talking over some of y'all's heads because you're like, what the hell is a sponge dauber? Anyway, it's the same thing as a sponge, but it goes on your finger and you use it to rub ink around paper. That's the best description I can give of it. This thing is more like a wand. So you would do this. It works the same exact way, but they use bigger ones and I want the bigger ones but I could never find them. So I got me a little one to try and see how it works out. Now then, y'all know I do flowers and for graves. I've said that before. So I bought this one. You know, I'd had this one already and I couldn't find any flowers to match it. So I finally, they came out with the, the um, um, well, that one's missing a flower, poop. Anyway, they came out with these green ones to go with it. So I thought this was kind of fun. So I've got like, I'll use like one of these green bushes and like three or four of these blue ones. And then I'll put some spiky things in it and um, use them for the graves. So I, I really like those kind of flowers for the graves um, because they just take them in at our thing. They just take them off after so long and throw them in the trash. So um, I never put good flowers on graves because it's, just you're throwing your money away. Um, it's good for that little bit of time, but you know, so I try to put, you know, I try to make a five or a $10 arrangement, not the 25 or 45 or 50. Some of them that I see, I mean, I understand if people want to do that, but I have too many of too many that I do to do that. So anyway, I want to give a shout out to my girl, Lisa for my nails. So I, uh, she picked the color out and I was like, okay, that's kind of bright. But then the more I look at it, I'm like, it's springy and I like it. I'm going to wear it. I'm 50. I don't care. All right. So they had these and they, so they're all the same flower, but they're all in different colors, but I want to do like a rainbow, which it won't be much of a rainbow because there's only five colors, but one, two, three, four, only four colors. I am so sorry. I can't count. Anyway, so there's only four colors, but it'll be kind of a rainbow theme on there. And I don't know. I just, I wish I'd had these before for Easter because this would have been super cute. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's still spring and, you know, anyways. I got these for my desk. I got me four of them um, for my desk to put stuff in so that you, because it has just open cubbies and they're short. And, but, and it's got those iron legs. You know, I got it from Walmart. I was just trying to get an, um, a simple desk, okay? You wouldn't. Let me tell you, to order a desk now is like stupid ridiculous. I don't even understand. But anyway, so I wanted this hidden. So I'm going to use this side of it. And I may cover it with a fabric or whatever. But I got me four of them to keep my junk in. Like my stapler, um, uh, receipt pads, you know, notebooks, pens, uh, paper clips, stuff like that. To keep it out of sight. So those, I love these little things. I've used these. I don't know if you can see. I have the bigger ones that I got from, you can see them right there, the gray ones. I got those and they're the same thing as this basically, but taller. I got those, uh, probably eight years ago and they're still working for my stamps and I use them all the time. I have a ton of stamps that are like in clear plastic things and I use them all the time for those. So they, I have six of them and, and they're awesome for it. Now I got this and I don't know why it was just, it's a big box and it was something big at Dollar Tree. And so when you get some, find something big at Dollar Tree, you tend to get it. And I'm like, what are you going to do with that nitwit? Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So I keep, I keep, you know, it's a shelf. It's a this. It's a that. You can turn it over. You add another one. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Sorry about it. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to do something with that by Friday. I don't know. 
you never know with me around here. All right, so I want you all to make sure and check out all the links that I'm going to list below of all the people that um, I've talked about today and show them some love. Go over and tell them, please tell them that Angie sent you or the redheaded scrapper sent you because it, it makes me feel good to know that I help them like they've helped me. And some of these people um, have really been over backwards for me and I just want everybody to let them know how much I love them. So, so when you go over there, say, Angie said she loves you, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, <laughs> you know me, I gotta love everybody. All right, so kiddos, we'll see you this Friday and y'all have a good week. I hope you do something constructive and if you make anything out of any, or if you've copied any of my designs or even if you haven't, just anything, I'm gonna start posting on my Instagram page um, when people email me, uh, pictures of the crafts that they've made and I'm going to start putting them either on my Instagram or eventually in some of my videos. I have a friend Corey, Crafted by Corey, the last video that I did with her and she gives like a shout out. So if you would like a shout out off of my channel, send me your pictures. I would love it. So you can send them to me on Instagram at the redheaded scrapper or you can email me at the redheaded scrapper at outlook dot com at outlook.com yes there did i say that outlook so the redheaded scrapper at outlook.com and if you have any trouble just go to my facebook page um the redheaded scrapper and find me there all right guys have a good week